Hi, I am Muhammad Raja. Today I am explaining you some of the endgame positions. This is a king and pawn endgame. So here white is going to win this position. Let us see how white is going to win this position. King to e2, black play king to here, king here. So here white got the direct opposition. So black play to here, king to e5, king to d7, king to d5, king c7, king to e6, king d8, king d6, king c8, pawn push, king to d8, pawn push, king to c8, king e7 and white can easily promote the pawn to a queen. And let us see how white is doing the checkmate here. So here I am forcing the black king to the corner. So white is doing the checkmate here. Okay, let us go to the initial position. So here, when the pawn is on d2, the key squares here are pawn c4, d4 and e4 are the key squares. The f so in order to win, the first thing white should do is, white's king should go to the any of the key squares. So I am just going to the key squares. So black played here. So white's king is in the key square now. Now black move to here. So white is getting the direct opposition. Here black move here. King to e5. King d7. King d5. King c7. Pawn d3. King d7, pawn d4, king to c7, then king to e6, king d8. So here white got the direct opposition now. So king go to c8, king go to e7, king c7, then white can easily promote to a queen. King c8, pawn d6, king b7 pawn to d7, king c6 and white is promoting to queen. The wrong way of playing this end game is the first move if playing white is playing the pawn to d4 then the key squares are pawn c6, d6 and e6 and the black king can reach the key squares first. So the game is gonna be a draw. Let us see. Let us see this game. After pawn to d4, black is playing king to d7, king e2. So black's king is in the key squares now. So white cannot reach those key squares now. If black is playing perfectly, white cannot reach the key squares. King is coming to e3, king to here, king to d3, king d6. King e4, king to e6, pawn to d5, check. So again the key squares are changed. When the pawn is on d5, the key squares are c7, d7, and e7. So here black king move to d6, king d4, 
king to d7 king e5 king e7 pawn to d6 check king to d7 king to d5 king to d8 king to e6 and black got the opposition and here pawn to d7 check king to d8 now there is no other way for white white is having only the option to play king to d6 if white is playing somewhere else then the pawn will get captured anyway the game is going to be a stalemate so now let us check another example in this position if it is white's turn then white will win if it is black's turn also white can win the, win this game let us see if white white plays white can play king to f6 so here black is getting the position but uh, still white is winning this game let us see how white is gonna win white can push the pawn to e6 then black king come to e8 then white can push the pawn and black is forced to go to d7 and white king can come to f7 king to d6 and white can promote to queen so white can be in this position this position it is black to play let us see what will happen if it if it is black to play black played king to f8 so white played king to d7 black played this pawn push king f8 pawn push then this is an easy win for white so uh, this position if it is white's turn or black's turn both the position the white is winning the game let us check a new king pawn position now here this position is a uh, winning for white so here for winning white is playing king to f5 first so black play here king to g7 now the king is going to e6 and black plays king to f8 then white is getting the opposition king to f6 if black play king to g8 then the king can go to e7 king g7 pawn to f5 king g8 pawn to f6 pawn to f uh, king to h7 pawn to f7 king h8 f8 queen king to h7 then if black is playing king to f7 it is gonna be a stalemate so we should never play that so here queen to f6 king to g8 queen g5 check king h7 king f7 king h8 and queen g7 is a checkmate let us check how white is gonna win this position so in order to win white should sacrifice one of the pawns so white is pushing the b7 pawn king takes b7 then white is getting the opposition here king to b5 king to a7 king c6 king to b8 king b6 king a8 then king to c7 king to a7 b5 king a8 so never play here pawn to b6 because it is a big blunder so if we play pawn to b6 the game is gonna be a stalemate so here the best play is king to b6 king to b8 white should play here king to a6 king a8 then pawn to b6 king to b8 then pawn to b7 then now here black is forced to play king to c7 then the white king can go to a7 and easily promote the pawn to a queen this is a position white to play and draw so let us check how to make this a draw with white because the black pawn is advanced here the white king is on h8 so how white can make it a draw let us check it 
So here the first move is white is playing king to g8. So here if black play king to g5 then white can come king to g7. If pawn to h4 white can play king to f7. If pawn to h3 king to e6 if king play to f4 white can play king to d5 so now here white is just trying to uh, come come near to the pawn at the same time black is trying to capture the h2 pawn so after king d5 black played king to f3 black can play king to d4 then king to g2 then black is play white is playing here king to e3 then if black play king takes h2 then white can just play king to f2 here if black play king to h1 king to f1 and there is no way black can make it a win black cannot make it a win king h2 then king f2 king h1 king f1 if pawn push then the game is going to be a stalemate. Let us check the same position. So here if white is playing the first move h4 then white will lose the game. Let us check it. After h4 black can simply play king to f5 then king to g7 then black can play king g4 king g6 king takes h4 king to f5 then king to g3 this is going to be a easy win for black pawn to h4 king to here pawn to h3 king to e2 pawn to h2 king f1 then black can promote to a queen very easily now let us check a new instructive position so this position is a winning for white Here if white is playing pawn to h6 then black can simply capture g into h6 then g takes h6 then pawn to f6 the game is gonna be a draw. Okay so let us check what is the best move here. So here in order to win the best move for white is pawn to g6 that is the best move. Then black is forced to capture the g6 pawn otherwise uh, white will simply capture the h7 or f7 and promote the pawn to a queen so here black played h takes g6 so here the winning move is pawn to f6 here black is forced to capture the f6 pawn here g takes f6 or black need to capture the h5 pawn if black capture the h5 pawn then f takes g7 is there pawn push then white can promote the pawn first so white is gonna win this game king to b7 then capture the pawn king to c6 queen h7 king to here pawn queen takes pawn and white is gonna win this position so let us check the other possibility after g6 if black is playing f into g6 then white should play pawn to h6 so white is just uh, trying to capture the g7 pawn so here if black play g into h6 then white can promote white can promote the pawn pawn to f6 pawn to h5 pawn f7 h4 and white can promote to a queen pawn to h3 check king to b7 white can just play queen to f7 check king c6 capture the pawn pawn to g5 queen g6 check king to here capture the pawn king to e4 and capture the pawn and white is having a winning position here this is a winning position for black this is white to move let us check how black is gonna win this game so here white play pawn to e6 then black can simply play king to e7 
and if white play pawn to c6 then king should come to d6 so here if pawn to e7 capture it pawn push then king to here then pawn push then king to c8 so here if white move somewhere white move the king somewhere then black can simply push the pawn and white cannot uh, capture the a pawn white play again king to here and black is gonna promote to a queen and black is winning this game so let us go to the initial position so it is in this game white is in zugzang white is having no other option uh, white cannot move the king if white is pushing the pawn then uh, black is winning actually the pawn on c2 is helping black for winning this game so let us check it once again if uh, for example black white tried pawn to c6 then black can play king to c7 if pawn to e6 again the king can come to d6 now if white try pawn to c7 capture it pawn to here then king to here pawn push king to e8 pawn push capture pawn push capture so white is in zugzwang now if white move king to d2 black can promote the pawn to a queen c4 and black is winning this game 